right, gamers, it's time to answer the question that I probably get the most in Pet Sim 99. What does it actually take to hatch huge pets every single day? And I'm not gonna fluff it up. I'm not gonna tiptoe around the subject. I'm gonna be brutally honest on what you guys need to do to hatch a huge pet every day in this game. But speaking of huge pets, let's go ahead and head into the diamond spinning wheel and see if we can actually get that huge high-tech tiger because I try this every single day and you know what? I'm terrible at it. Not sure if this is the first time you guys have ever watched my videos, but this huge high-tech tiger is incredibly hard to get. But anyway, let's keep going. Gamers, that has been the topic of this week, huge pets. More specifically, how you guys can hatch your very first huge pet or if you guys have lots of huge pets, maybe help you get more of them so therefore you can grind that last area just a little bit better. It's time to go into the black hole. What actually happens when we go inside? Apparently, Jeremy the Jelly Dragon is immune to black holes. And as far as this Batman Titanic is concerned, you can stay upside down for all I care. Anyways, gamers, let's go ahead and talk about huge pets. Now, why do you want more of them? What's the whole purpose? I mean, if you got a full team of them, why would you want more huge pets? Maybe you want to stick them in this exclusive daycare. And speaking of the exclusive daycare, everybody, I don't know if you know this or not, but we got a huge buff with this thing. And I just made a video on this a couple of days ago. And the fact that they buffed it, I don't know. That's just... That that's a little bit convenient. Anyways, let me show you guys something real quick. I don't know if you guys saw the video a couple of days ago, but it was making like 590,000 gems or something like that if you put it in for 30 days. Well, check this out. If you put it in there for 30 days, a rainbow huge pet gives you 1.16 million per day. Did these guys get a buff? Oh, they did. Oh, bro, look at this. The, the Titanic Love Melon gets 14 million gems per day and the Jelly Dragon gets 14 million a day. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is a big difference. Yeah, right there. This huge hell rocket was getting 580,000. Looks like this didn't really get a buff. But the huge fluffy did. Let's look at this. The propeller cat, 1.45 million. If you guys got a corgi, 1.16. Zebras, 1.16. Holy smokes, that is actually a really big update. I mean, I don't want to talk about this for too long because we'll get sidetracked and we got a lot to go over, but that is still really awesome. We'll go over all the specifics and whatnot in a different video. But yes, like I said, gamers, there's a lot to go over on hatching huge pets every single day. But first, we got to give away some free stuff. So let's go and head over to the mailbox and do that real quick. And holy smokes, who just sent over all these exclusive pets? Sultan Kidu, Sultan Kidu, Sultan Kidu. Oh my gosh. Big shout out to Sultan Kidu. Thank you so much, buddy. Let's go ahead and give away this rainbow jester dog right now. Artlike0993. I love your vids, man. I get so much better after watching them. Username, Artlike09. Artlike09, thank you so much for the comment. Be it subscribe, buddy. Enjoy this rainbow jester dog provided by the incredible Sultan Kidu. Boom, boom, boom. And of course, everybody. Booyah. And as always, gamers, if you want me to send you some stuff, all you got to do is be subscribed to the channel, drop a like on the video, and make sure you guys put your Roblox name in the comment section. And for some reason, if you guys want to send me some stuff for future giveaways and get shouted out in a video, my username is starcode underscore red ninja, but this right here is a zero, not an O. All right, gamers, we're not going to waste any time. We're going to jump right into this. So first things first, let's say we're grinding out the last area right here and you guys are farming away. You are getting a whole bunch of stuff and you guys are trying to make sure you guys get enough coins so that you guys can hatch some more huge pets make sure you guys have a good enough team to actually grind out the last area because if you don't what i'm about to talk about is going to be completely pointless if you guys don't know what team to use for the very last area i've made a bunch of videos on that so go ahead and check one of those out as well but let's pretend you guys have a good enough team that you guys are grinding out this last area in tech world and for this method to work you do have to have the auto farm game pass so let's go ahead and turn that bad boy on and then we're going to go ahead and teleport back to tech spawn so now as you guys can see we are back at spawn and now we can go hatch some eggs so we can grind and hatch at the exact same same time so let's go ahead and do that real quick also if you guys are unaware they did fix the bug where if you guys are inside the animation for a huge pet you guys can still get that that's that's been fixed for at least a couple of weeks now so don't worry you guys can still grind and hatch huge pets at the same time just in case you guys didn't know they fixed that now in order for this method to work you guys got to have one of two things one you got to have the super magnet uh, enchantment which sells for about 106 million in the trading plaza or two you guys have got to go over there and you guys got to make sure you guys have magnet flags down so that way you you're able to grind and collect all the loot that's going to come from that last area now depending where you guys are in your mastery is going to determine how many flags you can put down i just hit level 99 like last night and it allows me to place 45 flags at whatever area i'm in and they last for about eight hours total so that means obviously that every eight hours you're gonna have to come back here and place down those magnet flags unless you guys are in a public server then you guys can just sit in there all day long because most of the time there are people placing magnet flags and if you guys want to get the most out of the area you're going to want to be in a private server 
so that way you get all of the loot instead of in a public server you're sharing it with everyone that's grinding that area as well let me show you guys something so obviously you guys see that there's a comet right here in the first area and that's because random events like comets and coin jars and and that sort of thing only happen in the area that the player is actively in so if you guys are trying to grind out rank rewards at the exact same time that you're actually farming the eggs it's not going to happen as quickly because obviously all of the random events like coin jars comets whatever is going to happen in this area right here not at the area where your guys's pets are actually grinding it that's why when you look over here underneath my rank i need to break four lucky blocks i need to get some coin jars and i need to get comets which is where i normally get stuck at so if i want to grind out rank rewards i'm not going to be able to do that and hatch at the exact same time eventually i'm going to run into this problem every hour or so so keep that in mind if you're looking to grind and hatch at the exact same time now let's talk about a few more things that you guys need if you want to hatch huge pets every single day so obviously i've said this a million different times but you got to make sure you have max pet equips i mean that's just the way it is you got to make sure you have enough pets to grind out areas so that way you're getting enough coins and whatnot secondly you do have to make sure you have maximum eggs i mean this is kind of an obvious one but you'd be surprised how many people still wonder that i mean me personally Personally, I could grind out to rank 22, 23, and 24 and get myself three more eggs, but to get three more eggs and grind out all that stuff, to me, is just really not that worth it. Some people love it, but me personally, I don't. If I were you guys, I would grind out at least to rank number 14 because that's where the three eggs stop, and then after that, you only get one egg per level after. Right now, I can hatch about 95 eggs, so if you took off, what, seven of these eggs right now, that puts me at, what, 88 eggs? And honestly, hatching 88 eggs constantly is just fine for me. But obviously, you're definitely going to want to max those out so now comes the big question what is more worth it grinding out an area to get diamonds and items and just go buy yourself a huge pet or is it more lucrative for you to go grind out that egg for 24 hours straight and try to get yourself a huge pet and either sell it or keep it so before we get into what you guys actually need to hatch those huge pets every day let me tell you guys what i got over the last seven days and this way you can kind of come up with a number based on what you guys need to do okay so obviously this is my main roblox account i have all of the game passes on here i'm a youtuber that's just kind of what we do but for a person that has 95 egg hatches every single game pass in this game i have hatched roughly about two huge pets over the course of seven days and that's with every single game pass that i have and i think it was like a regular elephant maybe like a regular fluffy cat or something like that but my luck is absolutely terrible so don't think that your guys's luck would be just as bad as mine because uh i highly doubt it but what i'm trying to say gamers is that hatching huge pets is still really difficult to do even if you have all the game passes and whatnot and don't forget it costs a bunch of robux in order to have all those game passes and actually get to the point where you can hatch those huge pets every single day there's been some weeks over the past few months where you get a lot more huge pets than you normally do and that's all just random which is the chance of the game that's something we're completely used to at this point so now let's take it a step further what do you actually need in order to hatch this last egg right here in order to give yourself the best chance possible at getting yourself an active huge pet and i'm gonna drop some knowledge on you guys right now you do not need huge hunter enchantments in order to get yourself a huge pet you just don't it's a complete waste of time i've mentioned it many times before it's 11 million gems to get this book and if you guys think you need to have a whole bunch of them in order to hatch it don't don't waste your gems buy yourself a huge pet with the money you would spend on getting this enchantment it's just not worth it is the huge hunter potion good for hatching a huge pet i mean yes it is but however check this out it gives you 300 luck which is better than the uh than the huge hunter enchantment for sure the only downside is this thing is increasing in value every single day for all the people that don't want to spend robux on getting themselves a huge pet i mean check this out it's already up to 393,000. that is up 200,000 gems from like literally a week and a half ago this thing will probably cross 500k over the next few days for sure if you guys have the money to drop on huge hunter potions don't get me wrong it's definitely going to help you but let me explain something else first and then you guys can decide if this is right for you so as i mentioned before i've been hatching on this account actively for 24 hours straight every single day over the past few weeks since the update came out or since they buffed the huge hunter game pass so let me explain what you guys are going to need to give yourself the biggest chance possible at hatching a huge pet and to do that i'm going to need to switch over to an alt account that doesn't actually have those game passes okay and this account has been hatching since the last i don't even know how long but anyways let's go ahead and pull this up real quick now if we open up the exclusive shop here we can see that this 
account does not have any of these game passes. And let me tell you guys something else. I've never hatched a huge pet on this account since I've actually created it about four months ago, if that tells you guys anything. All right, so if you guys are serious about an active huge pet, let's talk about what it actually requires to get one of those bad boys. Okay, so first of all, you are gonna need the huge hunter game pass. This is guaranteed. There is no question here. You have to have this game pass. It upgrades your percentage by 6,250% to get an active huge. So you have to have this no matter what. So that's 3,200 Robux. Now that you just spent 3,200 Robux, you definitely wanna make sure you give yourself the best chance at getting a golden or a rainbow or a shiny, right? So now you have to buy magic eggs, which is another 1,200 Robux. And then of course, now that you've almost spent 3,500 Robux, you can't stop there. You have to definitely make sure you have the most chance possible with those eggs. So you're gonna have to buy ultra lucky as well, which is 800 Robux. And now you're definitely gonna wanna be a little more luckier than that. So you definitely wanna buy the lucky game pass. And of course, you can't hatch huge pets unless you have the most eggs possible. So now you definitely have to buy the 15 plus hatches, which is 625 Robux. Which brings us to a grand total gamers of 6,150 Robux. It is gonna take you to have the best chance possible at getting that active huge pet. For 50 bucks, we get 4,500 Robux. But guess what? That's not quite enough. You need to get to 6150. So you're gonna have to buy this $20 one as well, which will just barely put you above where you need to be. Which brings us to a grand total of 70 real dollars. It's gonna take you to have the best possible chance at getting yourself an active huge pet. Though I can't put this any more bluntly, gamers, if you do not have those game passes, stop trying to hatch this last egg. You're not going to get yourself an active huge pet. The chances are so not in your favor, you'd be so much better off just grinding the game and going to buy yourself one. So after explaining all that, what type of player are you? Are you still gonna go hatch that last egg in hopes that you're gonna get an active huge pet? Or are you gonna grind out items and sell those in the trading plaza and just go buy yourselves one? And if you guys wanna know the best methods to get yourself tons of diamonds, click this video right here because I guarantee you it'll help you out. Other than that, gamers, enjoy yourselves and I'll see you tomorrow.